my dearest Lennox. How are you doing? Hmm, I can see you are doing amazing. That's wonderful. In our previous lesson, we learned about materials. And under materials, we are going to talk about mixture. So now, when two materials are put together, they form a mixture. When materials are mixed together, no new substance is formed, which means there is nothing so special formed. Okay, so now let's look at an example. Okay, now when we mix gari and granite together, we have formed a mixture. No new substance is formed. So why is no new substance formed? Because the gari still looks the same. It does not change. And then with the granite, also looks the same. And it does not change. So I'm about to demonstrate something simple for you to understand the example I just gave. Okay, so now we have our gari and our granite. So we are coming to put them together to form a what? Mixture. Good. So now I'm pouring my gari. Are you watching? Good. All right. My gari is already in the container. And then my granite. Okay. So now I'm mixing them okay, together. Okay. All right. Okay, so mixing them together, let's have a look. Do you see the gary different or the same? The same. What about the granite? Do you see something different about the granite? No, it's the same. All right, so that is telling us that even though we have put the granite and gary together, it has formed mixture all right, but there is nothing new, okay? There is no new substance formed. All right, so now, your activity for today, you can use these mixtures too. Milo and milk powder, okay? In your house, you can get some and mix it to form a mixture, okay? And then sugar and salt, so you can use it. And then gari and sand. Okay, so you can use any of this or use them to mix, okay, to, to, to practice yourself. All right, so that ends today's lesson. Hope you, you really enjoyed. So, the exercises below, do it for me nicely and send it to me on WhatsApp, okay? So, until we meet in our next lesson.